What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the trim function in the string functions category. So what is trim? Trim is the ability to get rid of the white space or the spaces at the start or the end of a string. So not in the string itself, but just the start and the end point. So let's take a look at this. So I'm in my uh, Power Automate flow here and I've got a manual trigger. The manual trigger has a text input and then we've got two compose actions. So if I expand compose, uh, the first action, and then we click into the inputs, we're going to click on expression, we're going to expand see more string functions, we're going to go right down to the bottom to the trim input, uh, the trim function. So we can see that trim only has one parameter that we need, and that's just text. And we can see from the description that it just trims the leading and trailing white space from a string. So let's click trim, and we get it up here in the um, in the formula editor up here. We can click on dynamic content. We'll choose the input that we're collecting at the start of this flow, and that is all we need. So we click OK, and it'll go in there. Now I have a second compose action down here. And what I want to do is I want to show you the difference between the two. So in here, I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, add the input in its base form. So we're literally just taking whatever is put into here, we're putting here, and we're not doing this trim action. And we're also not getting the output of this trim action. We are just going to see what it looks like. So let's test this. Let's click on test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test and the input. I'm going to put a bunch of spaces in here and then I'll put hello, uh, hello, my name is Fred, full stop. And then we'll put a bunch more spaces in, uh, that's as far as it'll kind of look like on the screen and we'll click run flow. Click done, flow run successfully. So if I expand the first one, we can see that there is no space before hello here and we can just and um, we can't we don't have any space after Fred either. So the trim has worked, it's taking away the leading and the trailing white space. But what does that really look like? Or is this just a bit of uh, camera trickery? No, nope, we'll expand com compose two and we can see the compose two, the base action, we've got all this white space here. And then after Fred, we've got in the full start, we've got all this white space here. So that is the that is the base of what we were putting in, and the trim function has taken away that white space. This is really handy if you are um, pulling in a bunch of details from various systems or various inputs, and then maybe wanting to send them out to people in an email, um, or send a notification to someone, or put some data in a database. You don't want all this white space there that might be there for one reason or another. And that's what trim is there to do. Trim is there to take away the white space at the start or at the end, but not take away any white space in the string itself. Like So from when we start hello to our last um, character in the string, it will not take any of that space away, just takes away the start and the end. So it's really, really handy. But what do you guys think? Do you guys use this for anything at the moment? I'd like to know in the comments down below. Um, you can connect with me on social media. I've got a Twitter, I've got a LinkedIn. Uh, I've also got an email address. All the details to those are on the last slide of the, uh, the video. Um, as always, if you could like this video, share it with your friends if they might find it interesting, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. I'll see you next time.